Okay, so probably what you have in your uh, vehicles, you got a switch inside the vehicle, and that powers a relay under the hood. You have a relay harness for your LED light bar. It turns the relay on, it puts 12 volts on it, turns it on, and then the relay puts 12 volts on the light, and, and your light bar turns it on. Just like this. So, there's two ways to control the light. You can disconnect plus 12 from it, turns on and off, or you can d disconnect the ground on and off. Doesn't matter. So my circuit works on the ground side. So, my circuit doesn't require a relay. It is like a relay, electronic. But, when the relay harness is already in the vehicle and all wired up, it's easier, easier just to leave it in there. So, what you need to do is find the minus wire, the black wire from your LED bar, it goes up to the relay. You need to find that and cut it away from the relay. And then the LED minus will go to my green wire. The black wire of the circuit will go to chassis. This is usually behind the dash somewhere. You'll ground that to chassis. Then you got two wires left. The red is the power wire and the yellow is high beam mode. So since if you don't want the dimmer, you just take the yellow and red, tie them together, and then you find the wire from your switch that puts 12 volts on your relay. Now you want to let that, you still want that to go to your relay, but you just tap into it. So when you turn the switch on, it'll turn your relay on and turn the circuit on. And with the yellow and red connected together, that's your switch now, it will turn the light on and off inside the vehicle with your switch. So the relay will turn on and my circuit will turn on. It'll connect both sides of the light and turn on and off. So now the dimmer is disabled because we got the high beam mode connected to the on off switch and the power wire of the circuit. So you see the relay, uh, the dimmer does not work now. It's bypassed. And all you got to do is tap on this control knob and now you can strobe. Tap again to get out. Now if you're out of strobe and you, the knob gets moved around, it'll remember where you were as far as the flash rate. So I can hit it now and it's still the same flash rate. If you want to change the flash rate, rate then you turn the, the pot, adjust it to the rate you want. Escape out. Now it's programmed in there. So all you got to do is hit the button for strobe, hit it again for off to full on. If you're in strobe and you turn it off with the switch, you come back on, it'll always come back up in normal on off mode. It never comes up in strobe mode just for safety's sake. Strobe on and off. So that's pretty much it.